Vincent Rourke's Jungler. All right, let's talk about the big topic here, guys, okay? Because just recently, after I posted, after Geek Fan vs. Team Liquid's match today, I got a lot of people unhappy with my comments, okay? And then I'll bring up the community post. I'll bring up the community post right now, okay? So that you can see, okay? So this is the community post right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me just zoom in so you guys can see it. All right. Let's see what I said. All right, so 71% of you guys actually agree. We have 98 votes. We'll, we'll leave the poll up there, all right? So let's, um, let's talk about this. I, I posted after Geek Fam lost the match. I said, told y'all Vincent winning against Alter Ego and Dewa equals to not convincing. This is a reference to when last week they were able to beat Dewa and then they were able to beat... Uh, okay, that was week six. Alter Ego. So their last two matches was beating Alter Ego 2-1 and then beating G uh, Dewa 2-0. And I remember very well that a lot of people were already saying like, oh, Mirko, you know how you said Vincent is not as good in the in, on Assassins? He's not good on Assassins? Well, he won against Dewa and Alter Ego. Here, let me just go back to this point. Vincent winning against Alter Ego and Dewa, not convincing. Worst jungler on MPLID, not top quality on Assassins. Man's needs utility. Favia, on the other hand, best. So a lot of people were unhappy. People, some people were saying I was just hating, straight up. And I would like to clarify, I am not hating Vincent. I do not hate Vincent. I respect him, and I think he's an amazing jungler. Like, believe it or not, I actually do. Just not on Assassin's, though, unfortunately. And I think that has really been proven, too. And me saying he's not top quality on Assassin's doesn't mean he is just hot garbage and trash, guys. Because I know for a fact, when he goes for utility, he is... Considerably, considerably better. Because I see a lot of people in the comments also saying, Mirko, Geek Fam have a lot of problems. This isn't the only issue. And I agree. I didn't say it was the only problem, but this is the biggest problem for sure, guys. If we take a look at their performances so far, he has only played well on the Roger, Julian, Nolan. Those are the three picks he has done well on. And I said this on the broadcast as well. Unfortunately, the new patch kind of fucked him up. Because... Both Roger and Julian got nerfs. Julian is not as prevalent as it was before. Roger is practically shit if you're not Sutsujin. I don't know how Sutsujin still makes it work. But yeah, Nolan is the only hero that he plays uh, that he's still really good on. And that got completely banned out. It was banned out in game one by uh, themselves, actually. Game two was banned out by Liquid. So you see the problem here for him. And the thing is, it's not like he is limited to just these heroes, guys. He can play the Nolan still. He can play the Julian still. But I feel like he can still also play the Banes and Alphas. And I've been saying this from week one. We're getting to a point now where time is a problem. If I said this in week one instantly, then I would say that's maybe just hate, right? Maybe I just have a problem with him. But I am not saying it in week eight or week one. I'm saying it all the way now because at this point, he's had seven weeks to improve on the Assassins. And unfortunately, he hasn't been able to improve to a point where his Assassins are top quality. So he needs to play these utility. I think the team needs to play around him, needs to enable him. Because if they continue to force him on Assassins that he clearly is uncomfortable on, then this is the quality that we will see constantly. I would say as well, Game 1 Roger was way worse compared to Bane in Game 2. Game 2 Bane was actually pretty good. They were able to get a lot of good stuff. And I would say when it comes to just pure retry, this man is top two, top three. Okay, give him like a little bit of leeway. Top three, retry. If he's on utility, I would honestly put him in the top three debate. Because last season in Rebellion, brother, Rebellion, when he was, when the team was shit, right? He was the guy carrying Rebellion on utility jungles. Just because I say he's the worst jungler in MPID right now doesn't mean he's the worst jungler forever and he can't improve. He will be able to improve. I, I for sure believe in that. But on Assassins, I think it might be time to put an end to, you know, forcing him on these uncomfortable picks. Maybe it's time for him to actually drop to utility, comfort, because we're getting into that last portion of the season where it will really matter. Now that their upper bracket slot is 100% gone, I feel whatever. At this point, they should not reveal, you know, the utility, even if they have prepared utility for Vincent. But in the playoffs, that has to come out. Because in the playoffs, teams up against Geek will definitely try to punish him in the jungle. 